Hi, I welcome all of you in my series of the playlist for the data analysis and optimization. In this playlist, I have uploaded numerous videos that contains that how to apply a Taguchi method for mono objective optimization, how to apply response surface methodology. And again, in addition to these, I have also uploaded the techniques for multiple objective optimization using grid relational analysis using principal component and composite desirability method these are various various techniques for multi criteria decision making so let's start this video this video is based upon my research paper with the title that is showing on the screen so i have basically few factors the factor names are spindle speed feed rate axial depth of cut width of cut and cutting conditions and uh, the first four factors each have four levels while the fifth factor has only two levels so based upon this information first of all i will create a taguchi design in the mini tab let's go to mini tab so in the mini tab you will go to stat then you will go to uh, different options there are so you will have to go to doe then taguchi then create a taguchi design so when in this window you will have to select the number of factor first of all so you have basically five factors and i have four factors that have four levels and two one of the factor has only two levels so it's a mixed level design please make sure it that you have clicked it then these are few designs that which of the orthogonal array uh, i should have to select okay so i will select here the design i say that i will select l16 uh, in which um, let me check it here so here it come that i have four factors with the four levels and one factor with the two level so i will select it here and then i will choose so i will write it here the name of the factor spindle speed first one and then i will write level thousand to four thousand so let's go there so you will have to enter like this one thousand with a space two thousand then with a space three thousand then with a space four thousand in this way you will have to enter the whole information in this uh you can see window and the last one is uh cutting conditions so i have entered all the name of all my factors now it's time to enter the values so the value for the second one is uh, 250 350 so till 550 so i will write here in this row 250 with a space 350 then 450 and 550 so so in this way i have entered all the whole data then i will click ok and the last option you will have to store in the worksheet that the taguchi design should be stored in the worksheet of mini tab so let's click ok and then in the final you will have to click uh, once more uh, ok so let's see a new sheet has been opened with the whole taguchi design now your second responsibility is to enter the data for the response variables so the whole data has is with me in the excel sheet i will just make copy and then i will paste it in the mini tab sheet look at this so the data has been ready for the taguchi analysis then i will go to again stat then doe then taguchi and then i will have to click on analyze taguchi design in this i will have to select the response one by one let's suppose i will select ra and then click the select here i will go to the options i will say i need two graphs for signal to noise ratios for the means it's most important with respect to the research papers i have also make a, made a video in which i have told that how you can make a very aesthetic very a very attractive graphs for the research papers and then i see the response table for the signal to noise ratios and means it's also very important with respect to um, the research paper uh, these five terms will be used in the analysis these are the five factors and then the options okay in the option uh, this basically research work is related to the machining so you know that the r a r q and r c these are basically uh, you can say the parameter for the surf for the measurement of surface roughness 
and we need the surface roughness always to be minimum so i will select smaller is the better let me select it okay then click okay and then uh, in the storage i will say yes um, you can say store the signal to nice ratio so a new column will be made with the signal to nice ratios then i click okay and then okay okay so in this way you, you will see that here a new column with the values i will get it so this is the column that i got for the signal to nice ratio now i will repeat this step again for um, another one response variable to which i need the higher the better ratio so for mrr material removal rate i need higher the better so again i will go to the options and i will select larger is the better okay the same option for, for the graph and each and everything uh, will be as it is now click ok you will see that we got a second column with signal to nice ratio 2 these are the signal to nice ratios for the uh, material removal rate now we got a lot of the uh, graphs so uh, you can say this output only uh, will help us to see the results in very detail so i got um, res responsible for the signal to nice ratios okay so here the response at each level of the factor are provided to you and uh, delta has been calculated from subtracting the minimum value from the maximum value for our respective factor in this way the same has been performed for response table for the means uh, let me tell you that when we subtract 18 uh, when we subtract 1077 from 1838 so we got a delta value equal to 761 this is the highest value so we have ranked one and it means that feed rate has significant effect on the material removal rate and let me interpret the tables for you the tables uh, these are the two table uh, two figures that you will get one for the means and second one for the signal to nice ratios as both of the quantities have our same signal highest the better so the graphs will be look same however in contrast i will now after a few time i will let you know that how the graph for the smaller better look like looks like so these graph shows that the with the increase in the levels of spindle speed phi depth of current and width of curd over material remove uh, rate increases whereas the cutting condition 2 over material removal rate is increasing let's go towards the ra in order to show you. i want to tell you that we have very high uh, you can say surface roughness at a setting of 1000 rpm so i we do not like it we all do not want to want our surface roughness to be so high so with the high surface roughness the associated signal to nice ratio is very low same is the case you can see with the very low surface roughness that has been achieved at the 4000 spindle speed so the associated signal to nice ratio become very high because we need a very low surface roughness ratio you go i th i hope you people got my point uh, let me explain it uh, this point that at uh, 2.5 depth of cut our surface roughness is increasing as we do not require surface roughness to be very high so its signal to nice ratio will be very low and look at there its signal to nice ratio is very low i hope you people got my point what i want to show you and the same analysis has been also performed in the excel and this has been and that has been uploaded in my separate video uh, i have applied composite desirability method for the multiple objective optimization and the multiple obje obje objective optimization of this whole data has been performed and uploaded in the in my channel also the my research paper that has i showed i shown to you people in the start is also available on the google scholar thanks a lot for watching this video if you have any question any query you can whatsapp me you can uh, email me or you can call me on the whatsapp at any time I'm, I'm available to serve you people thanks a lot for watching this video and please subscribe my channel like this video bye